Whether you're a seasoned woodworker or just dipping your toes into the world of DIY, this video is for you. Today we'll cover over 30 scrap wood projects. Whether you have a mountain of scrap wood or just a few pieces lying around, you'll be amazed at what you can create. Christmas decoration holder. Use two long pieces of wood in one short piece to form a triangle. Secure the shape with wood glue and use paper binders to keep the wood in place until it dries. Once dry, glue the shape to a square wooden base. Add a small hook to the peak of the triangle and then hang your favorite ornament. Wooden headboard. For this project, you'll need four pine boards that measure 30 by 200 centimeters and two boards that measure 30 by 100 centimeters. Begin by staining the boards in your desired color, making sure to coat the edges. Once the stain dries, flip the boards over and attach them with screws to create the headboard. On the front of the headboard, attach a bracket and install sconces. Place your new headboard behind your bed and enjoy. Chalkboard Painted Charcuterie Board Stain your scrap wood in whatever color you like best. Tape off the edges and paint the inner portion with black chalkboard paint. Attach handles to each side of the board. You can now use the board to display snacks for guests. DIY Bottle Holder for this project, you'll need four pieces of scrap wood to create a rectangular shape. Measure for three holes in one of your longer pieces of wood. The tops of your bottles will extend from these holes. With the holes cut, paint all four boards in your favorite color. Add twine around your display bottles if desired. Assemble your boards using wood glue. With the glue dry, add your bottles and any finishing touches you'd like. Easy Circular Wood Shelf For this project, you'll need one circular piece of wood and a perfect half circle. To make your shelf, stand the half circle piece on the center of your main board and mark on each side. Next, use a pencil to mark for screw holes on the base and shelf. You'll need to secure the shelf with two screws. Pre-drill the screw holes, then attach a hanger on the back. Have a partner help you secure the shelf board with two screws. Finally, hang your shelf and add some decor. DIY Wood Ottoman. To get started, gather one square board that measures 40 by 40 centimeters. Cover the board with hot glue and then add a square piece of foam on top. Wrap the board in fabric, securing it with staples on the back. Next, grab a board measuring 48 by 44 centimeters and attach your cushion to it using wood glue. To create the base, you'll need four boards that each measure 44 by 44 centimeters. Assemble them into a square and secure them with wood glue and nails. Attach a 48 by 44 centimeter board to the bottom and then stain the base to your desired shade. Add wheels to the bottom board. You can now add your top cushion to your rolling ottoman. 
Use the inside as storage and the top as seating or a footrest. Wooden block shelf. For this project, you'll need three three and a half inch boards, two 10 and a half inch boards, and one 17 and a half inch board. Arrange the boards with the smallest on top and the longest on bottom. Use brackets and screws to attach the boards to one another. Attach the remaining boards with metal brackets and wood glue. Set the shelf on a table or hang it on the wall for unique decor. Wooden sign. Supplies for this project include a small piece of plywood, hooks, a small wooden box, and paint. Start by painting your rectangular piece of plywood with acrylic paint. Paint the wooden box to match. Use a stencil to paint a design on your board. You can also freehand a design if you don't have a stencil. Poke a screwdriver into the plywood to make holes for your hooks. Then screw the hooks in place. Hot glue flowers or embellishments onto your design. Secure the wooden box to the board with wood glue. Finally, add hangers to the back so you can hang your new sign on the wall. Wooden plant hanger. For this project, you'll need two pieces of square scrap wood and some rope. Measure the boards and mark for holes on each of the four corners. Use a drill to cut your holes. Run a long piece of rope through each of the four corners, tying a knot under each board to keep it in place. You'll need two pieces of rope, one for each side of the board. Tie the rope together at the top. This is what you'll use to hang your plant holder. Now you can set any potted plants or decor when you're hanging shelves. Framed small jar holder. Start by cutting scrap wood into four of the same size pieces. Then paint each piece with acrylic paint. With the paint dry, screw a small hook into one board. Apply wood glue to the bottoms of the interior pieces and assemble the wood to make a square. Cut four long pieces of string and tie them together. Knot the strings to create a web. Insert a small glass jar in the web and tie the strings at the top. Finally, hang the jar onto the square frame. Hanging Succulent Planner. For this project, you'll need four pieces of scrap wood to assemble a rectangular frame. Begin by drilling a hole in one of your smaller pieces of wood and sand off any rough patches. Then assemble your rectangular frame with wood glue. With the glue dry, stain or paint your frame. Fill your small jar with rocks, potting soil, and a succulent. Tie some string together to hold your succulent. Tie the string at the top, thread it through the hole in your wood, and knot it. Cut off any excess. X-shaped bookshelf. To make this bookshelf, you'll need two wide plank pieces of wood. 
Start by finding the middle of each board and make a two by eight centimeter mark on the board. Use a router to cut your notches. Then sand off any rough edges. Assemble the boards by linking the notches together. Then you can load up your new shelf with books or magazines. Wooden block photo. For this craft, you'll need a photo and a piece of wood the same size. First, apply a thin layer of Mod Podge to the front of the photo. Then press it onto the wooden block and allow it to dry overnight. The following morning, wipe the back of the photo with a damp microfiber cloth to reveal your new wooden block picture. Hanging photo holder. Start with two thin pieces of scrap wood larger than your photo. Stain or paint the wood to your liking. Then use a hot glue gun to secure a paper binder to each piece of wood. Install two small eye hooks on the top piece of wood Loop a piece of string through each hook and tie at the top. Slide your picture through the paper binders. Now you can hang your photo on the wall. Framed succulent art. Cut your scrap wood into four pieces you can assemble to make a square. Lay a piece of MDF or plywood on top and nail it into place. Next, fill the box with potting soil. Add a metal mesh screen to the top of your box and secure it with staples. Cut down a piece of plywood to make a thin frame for your box. Secure the corners with staples. Attach the frame to the box with nails and stain it your desired color. Use a pair of wire cutters to snip holes for your succulents. Layer the succulents in thick for a full look. Now you can display your framed succulent art. DIY Shoe Cubby. For this project, you'll start with a 57 by 27 centimeter board. Use a tape measure to find and mark the center. From the center, create a two centimeter line halfway up the board and notch it out with a router. Grab a 27 by 27 centimeter board and create a two centimeter notch in it. Apply adhesive paper to both boards. Then link the boards together through their notches. For the next step, you'll need one full length 60 by 30 centimeter board and a second the same size that's cut in half. Apply wood glue to the edge of the longboard and attach the shorter pieces. Run wood glue along the back of the board and snugly secure a 57 by 30 centimeter piece of wood. Then slide in the shelf you made in the first step. Attach legs to the bottom. Flip the piece over and stabilize it by installing screws at the side. For the final step, layer foam and fabric over a 60 by 30 centimeter board, secure with staples. Apply wood glue to the top of the shoe cubby and place the cushion over it. You can now store shoes in your piece or use it as a bench. Test tube spice jar rack. Mark five evenly spaced spots on a board. Then use a wood spade bit to create holes to hold your test tubes. Stain the boards in your desired color. With a stain dry, attach the spice rack legs with wood glue. Attach felt pads to the bottom of the legs. Use rubber gaskets to help position your test tubes at whatever height you'd like them. Finally, fill the tubes with your most used spices. 
upside down bookshelf. Grab a piece of wood the desired length of your bookshelf. Then pick which books you'd like to display. Use your books as measuring guides, stapling elastic around where the books will hang. Repeat for all of your books. Attach shelf brackets to the opposite side of the wood. Hang the shelf on the wall and add your book. Bathtub tray. Measure the width of your bathtub and cut a piece of wood that is slightly longer. Glue two pieces of scrap wood near the edges of your board. Stain the wood and let it dry. Find a belt that is long enough to act as a handle for your tray. Cut the belt and attach it to the ends of the tray with nails. Wooden bookends. Grab a piece of wood and cut it down to the appropriate dimensions. Sand each edge. Drill a hole through one of the square pieces. Stain all wood to your desired color and dry overnight. Attach the square piece with a hole in it to one of the rectangular pieces of wood. Allow it to dry. Reinforce the board with screws. Use wood glue to attach two smaller strips of wood to the bottom of the rectangle. Run electrical wiring in a sconce through the board. Then use your creations as bookends. Wooden photo board. Start with a 50 by 100 centimeter board. Find the center of the board widthwise. Make markings that are 15 centimeters apart on the top and bottom of the board and seven and a half centimeters apart at the center. Use a drill bit to create holes at your markings. Run a thick string through the holes at a diagonal, knotting it in the back. Repeat for all holes. Fill with your favorite photos and keepsakes. Stained photo board. Grab a large piece of scrap wood in a square shape and stain or paint it. With the stain dry, attach belts to the board with a stapler. Ensure the belts are fairly tight. Now you can display your favorite photos and art. Wooden glasses holder. Cut down a piece of rectangular wood. Wrap the front in elastic and staple it to the back of the board. Use the board to store your favorite sunglasses. Wooden hanging shelves. Grab two long rectangular boards and drill holes into each of the four corners. Double up one string and tie it to a round metal circle. Run the string through each corner of the board and secure it with a knot. Repeat for your other board. Finally, hang your shelves and add decor. Wooden Crate Shelving. Stain your wooden crates in your desired color and allow the stain to fully dry. Assemble the crates in a shelving shape and attach them with wood glue. Hold the piece together with binder clips and allow the glue to dry overnight. Reinforce the shelving by drilling pilot holes and inserting screws. Load up your shelf with books and decor.
rolling cubbies. Grab a board that's long enough to house two wooden cubbies. Stain the board and allow the stain to dry. Add wheels to the bottom of the wood. Flip the board over and attach two crates with wood glue. Add a board to the top of the crate. Now you can fill your cubbies with baskets or organizers. Tiered produce holder. Materials for this project include nine pieces of 15 by 45 centimeter wood, six pieces of 15 by 19 centimeter wood, two pieces of 10 by 80 centimeter wood, and four pieces of four by 20 centimeter wood. Use your 15 by 45 centimeter and 15 by 19 centimeter wood to create three rectangular boxes. Create pilot holes and then screw the wood together. Use one of your boxes as a template to line up your longest boards and then cut off the excess at a diagonal. Stain all wood and allow it to dry overnight. Screw the four by 20 centimeter pieces of wood to the long boards on the flat cut side. These will act as the feet. Line up the boxes with the long board, evenly spacing them out. Attach with screws. Repeat on the opposite side. Position your produce holder in the kitchen and add your favorite fruits and vegetables. DIY geometric light fixture. For this craft, you'll need six 18 centimeter dowels, six 13 centimeter dowels, six 11 centimeter dowels, and six two and a half centimeter dowels. Start by creating two hexagons one with your 11 centimeter dowels and another with your two and a half centimeter dowels. Connect them with modeling paste. Attach the 18 centimeter dowels to the large hexagon. Place the small hexagon on top. Let the paste dry for five minutes. On the other end, add the 13 centimeter dowels. Sand the joints until smooth. Spray paint your color of choice. Run a light fixture kit through the design and add an LED light bulb. Install your new light fixture. Serving tray with handles. Cut five pieces of wood to assemble a shallow rectangular box. Stain everything in your desired color. Assemble the tray with screws. Drill holes on the side of the tray. Run rope through the holes and tie a knot to secure it in place. You can now use your cute tray to serve breakfast or place on a table for decor. Wooden dowel rack. To create your rack, you'll need a long dowel, a 46 by eight centimeter board, and a 15 centimeter board. Find the center of your 15 centimeter board and cut it in half. Next, mark your dowel at 40 centimeters and cut. Sand your cuts until smooth. Mark your small pieces of wood and create holes with a wood spade bit. Stain all pieces and allow the wood to dry. Use the wood glue to assemble the rack. With the rack finished, you can use it to hang towels or add hooks and containers.
easy hexagon shelf. Assemble large popsicle sticks into a hexagon shape and secure with glue. Keep layering until you reach your desired height. Stain the popsicle sticks in your desired color. Hang your creation on the wall and add decor or a small potted plant.